right, what's up guys? So we're back in Chris's kitchen. Gonna do a post-workout meal after that back workout we just did. And um, this, this is the typical spread I have for my post-workout meal. It's very easily digestible foods. Um, after the high demand of that training session, I basically want everything that's gonna be just super easily digestible. So we've got rice and grinds, it's like cream of rice. We've got fruit, honey, and then we've got 50 grams of whey protein. So I'm gonna go through the amounts of what I use. Basically, this meal is gonna be about 50 grams of protein, 150 grams of carbs, and 10 grams of fat. So it's gonna digest quick so I can get to the next meal here in a couple hours. Um, and I'm gonna put that together for you guys. So I think this one, we're gonna do this um, maple waffle flavor. And I'm gonna be doing 160 grams of rice and grinds. So that's about 120 grams of carbs from rice and grinds here. It's quite a bit. Can't cut yourself short on carbs in the off season. Gotta get right on the money. Right. Chris, how much water do you use per, you can cut this. 150 mLs per 40 grams. Okay, per 40 grams. about three minutes, three and a half minutes. Okay. While that's going guys, this is all the humuslin I have left. So we're reformulating this. We're about to come out with it, I believe in a few weeks. Hopefully by the time this video comes out, we'll already have released the new um, updated version. We're adding berberine to this, as well as a few digestive enzymes that are a little more um, for protein and fat digestion as well, not just focus on carbs. So you're gonna get a little bit more comprehensive product here. Um, but got a few left. We're doing two caps of this before this meal um, to help us digest. I want to utilize all the nutrients in this meal and keep my blood sugar pretty steady. So I'm gonna do two capsules of humus slim. All right, so just came out of the microwave. It's piping hot. I'm gonna put a little bit of ice in this just to cool it down real quick. I always do that. Just stir this up in here. I always wanna to get to the meal faster and I can't, I can't eat it fast if it's piping hot. Now we're gonna add the fruit. I'll just let the ice melt the rest of the way in there. Don't mind if it's a little watery. So I'm just gonna add the fruit on top. First I'm gonna put a little bit of pink salt. I'm not used to this shaker. I usually actually have like a quarter teaspoon measure. So I'm kind of just guessing. And these are frozen blueberries so this will cool it down too. So I'm gonna do half of my carbs from fruit from blueberries and half from um, banana. So it's about 15 grams of carbs total. This is honestly probably what I need to do is buy frozen blueberries from now on because blueberries, fresh blueberries are so expensive. But that's what I've been doing. And then uh, what's the reasoning behind throwing some fruit up in here? Um, just another thing that's easily digestible. It helps with um, getting your micronutrients in for the day. Um, and honestly, it just tastes awesome having fruit and cream of rice. I, I really love this meal. This has become my favorite meal of the day. I actually do this three times a day. Um, with breakfast, I have cream of rice. With 
my pre-workout and my post-workout. <clears throat> stir this up in here. All right. So that was 55 grams of blueberries. That was like half the amount I need. And then I do like, I think it's like 35 or 37 grams of banana. So that gets me that 15 grams of carbs from fruit. Then we're gonna do the peanut butter. We've got 20 grams of peanut butter. You don't want a ton of fat post-workout because then it's really gonna slow down your digestion. Um, you may want a little bit more fat in your pre-workout meal versus your post-workout meal sometimes just to try to not digest too fast and then drop your blood sugar. But post-workout, you want too high fats because then that's going to really slow down the meal. Right at 20 grams, so that's about, about 10 grams of fat. Okay, and then we're going to do 18 grams of honey. That's 15 grams of carbs from honey. gonna be so good. Much easier to eat than me and Chris were just talking about it. It'd be terrible to come home and have to eat a steak and potato meal. It's just like, this is so much better for post-workout. I've got two more chicken meals to eat today. Then I've got a salmon meal later. Like, got a lot more food to eat, so I wanna get this down, get it digested, and keep moving on. Cause off season's all about getting a lot of food in. I'm eating like around 6,000 plus calories, about a thousand. We were eating about a thousand grams of carbs, close to it. Um, it's a little bit dropped back now, but still a lot of food. And you just want to be as efficient as possible with the food you're eating so that you can keep getting the meals in on schedule. So this is what I use. I do this, <coughs> gosh, sorry. I do this pre and post workout. Um, as far as the cream of rice, the fruit, the honey, and the peanut butter, and then whey protein. Um, and of course I use my human slim both pre and post workout. Um, so be on the lookout for that guys, for the new formula coming. And hope you enjoy this. If you tried this meal for your pre or post workout. And then uh, what's the full macro breakdown on this one? All right, and so the macro breakdown for this is 50 grams of protein. That's all in the whey protein. We got 150 grams of carbs and 10 grams of fat. So it's a great off-season meal, great way to get a lot of carbs in and really easy to eat, tastes awesome. So check that out for you guys, for yourself.